Hi everyone, today we'll cover Smart Match App, the number one matchmaking software CRM. How it works? This would be your database that you can populate with your clients and members. You can apply your own logo, branding, custom colors if needed. The core of the system is its matchmaking algorithms. That's the heart of it. How they work? In your client's profiles, there will be two sets of data. First set of data is profile information, and it would tell system all about me, what I am as a person. Second set of data, it's match preferences, and it would tell system all about my needs, what I'm looking for, my ideal match. You can create your own fields, and they can be anything. Drop downs, open-ended questions, multiple choice, select fields. You can ask your members to upload files, videos, pictures, provide links. Sky is the limit. What happens then? System will go ahead and cross-reference these two sets of data with your whole database of clients. And then it will provide you as a matchmaker, as a database administrator with intelligent suggestions that you can see here on the right. You can check and see additional details on how well both parties match. So highlighted in green would be criteria they do match on, in red, don't match. And it goes both ways, party A to party B, as well as party B to party A. Then we have these two numbers for you. They are relationship success scores, and they represent the quality of a match. The reason they are two numbers is because any relationship, personal or professional, it's always a two-way street. First number represent how well party B matches party A criteria, and second number, on contrary, how well party A matches party B criteria. And to conclude the algorithms, there are two simple rules in place that will power up your precision with algorithms. They are deal breakers and field weights. Deal breakers are filters. It's something that tells system if value isn't this, then don't even bother showing any suggestions. For example, let's say you have a preferred age range or preferred investment amount, maybe preferred political affiliation or industry that I'm willing to invest into, or even a location, because you can indeed match make your members based on their locations with proximity, the radius included. If you put the deal breaker on that field, or fields, this means that this person or entity wouldn't get any suggestions unless their deal breakers are satisfied and those rules are met. So treat them as filters, really. That's what they are. And finally, we do have field weights. Field weights would be your field priorities, and they represent how important particular criteria is for a person. Can be low, medium or high. And if it's a high priority field and both parties match on a high priority field, then their relationship success score is going to be drastically higher. And of course, if they don't match, match lower. And in a nutshell, that's how matchmaking algorithms work. Now let's cover the matchmaking approaches. There are two of them on market, personalized and public approach. Personalized approach means that you, as a matchmaker, as a database administrator, will be in charge of introducing your clients to one another. So you will check their suggestions here on the right. You will then move them from the right side to the left side to one of these groups. And from here, you can send them introductions, one-way introductions or mutual introductions. It's always up to you what information you are sharing inside those introductions because you can hide their contact information or personal details, or as a matter of fact, everything and anything that you do or do not want them to see about each other. Same applies for pictures, videos, files. And then you will have two communication lines, emails and text messages. You can create templates. This way you wouldn't need to copy paste every single time or God forbid type in our day and age, and then you send them that introduction and they will let you know if they're interested or not. You can take custom notes on that particular introduction. You can send your clients surveys to fill out. You can add them to different events. 
and have a record of what events they took part in. You can even use financial features of the system. After you integrate your Stripe account with us, which is a financial gateway, you can send custom invoices. You can create subscription plans. You can attach payments to your web forms. And all of this is possible. Public approach. What it means that your members will now be able to log in and access the platform. You will be able to have your own logo here, not ours. Your members will be able to update their information, match preferences, upload files and other media. The whole system is mobile friendly. It's PWA technology, progressive web application meaning it will look pretty and beautiful on any device and any screen without you or your clients having to download a dedicated application on their device. Then if you allow them, and only if you allow them, they will have access to their own suggestions. The whole system is a controllable environment. Treat us as Minecraft or Legos. We give you blogs, small features and tools, and it's up to you what you want to build out of these blocks. It's up to you how many suggestions they can see at a given time. It's up to you how much information they can see when they open each other's profiles, because you can hide their names or contacts, or as a matter of fact, everything that you don't want them to see. It's up to you what features and tools they have access to and how they function. They will be able to connect here and if they are mutually connected, system will allow them to chat with one another. Then we have a directory for you. This will allow your clients to access your whole database of members. It's up to you based on what criteria they can search this database. Let's say we're looking for people that have bachelors and higher. They will be able to check each other profiles yet again, as much information as you would allow them to see, and they can engage into a chat. We do have subscriptions for you. This is a monetization option. After you connect your Stripe account with us, you can create subscription plans for your members, monthly, annual, quarterly. You can create as many as you need and you can diversify those plans by features, tools, services that you offer and your clients can subscribe to your plans and stay on your payroll. We do have an events engine as well and you can create events groups, communities for your clients. They will be able to check what this event is all about. You can invite them to take part in your events with topics of interest, and they can indicate those topics of interest and matchmake with one another based on those. Yet again, they can chat, bookmark, check each other profiles, as much information as you would allow them to see. In the menu, you can attach your links to other resources let's say to your homepage, to your blog or social channels or product. Let's say you just published a book and promoting it. You can even create a custom FAQ page for your clients if needed. You can allow your clients to chat with you as a database administrator directly from the system and there is no need for them to pick up the phone or send you an email. Plus, you will have a record of all of it right in the system. This is how public approach works in a nutshell. You can combine both approaches, personalized and public, and use the system in a hybrid approach. What this means, you can, for example, allow your clients to log into their profiles. They will not see anyone or anything else, just their profiles. They can update them and manage them, but you will still conduct matchmaking process by yourself in a personalized way, introducing them to one another. They will be able to see their own introductions if you allow them within their introductions tab, and they can indicate their interests, whether they're interested or not interested, plus provide feedback for you. If they are mutually interested in one another, you can allow them to chat. Let me now relog in to the administrator view, and we will continue the presentation. The next chapter would be matchmaking integrations and system population. I will share my screen yet again, and we continue. There are four ways on how to populate the system. 
first way is manual way. You can manually create records, clients in your database, just like creating records in your phone book. Sometimes it's needed. Second way is by importing data. So if you already have an established database of clients, you can import all of their information with profiles filled out, media and files possible. And of course, you can export all of their information at any given time. Third option is the most exciting. We do have our own native web forms. You don't need to use Google Forms, Jot Forms, Wufu Forms. You can use ours. They have tons and loads of features and tools. You can integrate them with your website via iframe. It's a simple and easy copy-paste job for any web developer. I will show you how our web form looks on different websites. This is Midwest Matchmaking website, and this is our web form. It blends in and looks pretty and beautiful. Another example is Agapi Match, and this is our web form. It's a multiple page web form, meaning people fill out the first page, then the next page appears and so on. Second way on how to integrate the forms is with a direct URL. Each and every form that you create will have its own unique URL link. And anyone who clicks this link will open your form. It's going to be branded with your own logo, not ours. And it's up to you what goes to this form. You can make your clients accept your terms and conditions. You can protect it with CAPTCHA against spammers and put a payment option. You can put this link on your social channels. You can embed it to your newsletters. You can email it, text it to people. They will click, open, fill out, submit, and populate your database. There are two ways on how to use these web forms, traditional way and progressive way. Traditional way means that you will have your web form that your potential clients will fill out. They will submit their information that will go to your database and they will get a pop-up and an auto-reply email saying something like, thank you for your submission. Have a great day ahead. We will reach out to you soon. The message is custom. Second way is progressive way. Think of it as having Facebook sign-up forms where people enter their names, emails, click sign up, and what happens then, they will get redirected to their profiles from where they will be able to create a password for themselves, accept your terms and conditions, and start managing their profiles and use your platform. Fourth option on how to populate the system is Zapier. We are on Zapier, and Zapier allows you to integrate all your systems into one and share data. Zapier has over 3,000 other systems in the platform. For example, you can integrate us with HubSpot or MailChimp or Google Sheets. What it allows you to achieve is, let's say there is a record created in Smart Match App. It will also populate your other integrated systems via Zapier. If you integrated us with HubSpot and MailChimp, each time there's a client in your Smart Match App, it will populate your HubSpot and MailChimp and the other way around. Now let's cover integrations that we have. We have an integration with Twilio. This is a virtual phone number and it will allow you to send text messages, accept text messages to the system, make phone calls and accept phone calls to the system. You will have under the communications tab in your client's profiles, all these tabs and you can track your communication history, email, text and phone calls. Then we have Stripe integration, payment option, financial gateway. And after you integrate your Stripe accounts, you can do financial operations, send custom invoices, create subscription plans, install payments to your web forms. The sky is the limit. We do have integration with Google Workspace account, Gmail. And after you integrate your Gmail account with us, you will be able to have all of your history, emailing history that happens in Gmail, right in your client's profiles. Plus, you can track if the email was delivered, opened, clicked on. All of this is possible. We partnered with Realme for security, and they do background checks. It costs $20 to do one profile, and all they ask is first name, last name, 
and phone number. They work only in the United States. We do have an open API for you as well, and we've seen people performing miracles with it. In the hands of a capable software developer, this can turn into a holy grail. Now let's cover smaller features that system has to offer. Those colorful circles that you see here are called lists, tags. You can assign them to your clients for project management purposes, or you can make your web forms assign those automatically. You can also advanced search your whole database based on the criteria that you have within your system. Let's say we're gonna look for people that live in New York, 500 miles around, and let's say they will need to have some sort of education because education is important. Let's see how many people we have that fit our criteria, five. You can select these people and you can send their profiles, their introductions to a third party, let's say as a referral, or you can send these five people an email, a text message. Think of it as a newsletter. Then you can send them surveys and do many more other options. Then we have clients map for you. Here, you will be able to see where each and every one of your clients are located on a big blue map. Those pins would be your clients and their addresses indicated in their profile. We do have statistics for you. Those pie charts represent questions that you ask of your clients and pie slices, their responses to your questions in a ratio. We do have web form statistics for you. They can show you views, how many people viewed or submitted those forms. And you can track those by the dates provided. We do have surveys as well. Similar feature to web forms. You can send those surveys to your members and clients to fill out and track their responses globally or individually. We do have tasks as well, plus Kanban. And you can create tasks for yourself or for your team members. You can assign due dates, priorities, link clients' profiles if needed, and keep track on execution of those tasks to stay productive. Then we have reports for you. You can file those reports based on every and any action that goes on in your database. Quite literally, you can run those reports based on how many days passed since the last email was sent, or text message, or phone call was made. Possible. Then we have automations for you. This is an action-reaction feature. It will allow you to establish a custom sequences of actions after your selected trigger is triggered. In human language, this means that you will have a list of triggers. Let's say, for instance, client's birthday. And if there is a client's birthday today, you can make system send them a greeting email or greeting text message. Or let's explore something a little bit more sophisticated. Let's say establishing a custom follow-up sequence. So each time there's client created in your database, the system will automatically send them bi-weekly or let's say monthly emails. All of this is possible. Security-wise, we are GDPR compliant, privacy shield, IPDA compliant. Our privacy policy and license agreements are all on the website, and we have many social channels. Thank you for watching our demonstration. Schedule an appointment with us. We always here for you, and your success means the world to us. Bye-bye for now with care and love. Until next time.